Hey guys, Fat Cat's back, and I'm going to do another video today. And as you can tell, last time, I, um, last time the video I did today was on my 3DS and my stylus. So move that aside, and we'll start my next video for today. And today I'm showing you some wands that my dad made for my birthday party, which I don't know if you guys know was a Harry Potter party. Not the one on my page. That was just the random Harry Potter party I had. But I had a party similar to that for my birthday, but of course it was a lot more party-ish, because it was my birthday and everything. We made butterbeer, we had pumpkin, no we didn't have pumpkin juice. But we had wands with a Harry Potter tag, which I'll explain the rules to you in this video, if you want to play it yourself. I don't think anyone's really put the official rules online. I made it up, like, I think I made it up. Well, the game I play I made up. There are probably similar games out there, but yeah, let's get this started. We'll first start off with the ones that don't look the coolest. Like, they're all, they all look cool, but, like, these are just, like, ones that my dad, like, he doesn't really have time to do them, but I'm glad he did, he still did them for me and everything. So these are just ones that he took and did some, not a lot of, like, work, like, not, not work. He did a lot of work on these, but not a lot of artwork on. They're simple ones, but they still look cool in the way they were cut and everything. So we'll start with this one. This one pretty long wand as you can tell and these are all made out of wood everything's made out of wood that he made like we don't have any special machines so like he took a long time to make these basically he just carved them everything and like painted them this one has a blue handle which is, I know it's not a natural blue like natural like wand color but I told him dad I'm like it would be so cool if you made the wand blue because it would stand out so much um this was actually a spare wand that cause my dad I, my dad made extra just in case and like he made a few extras. Someone actually, <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm not feeling the best today. My voice sounds different. That's why I have a sore throat and everything. But um, some kids actually broke their wands like during the party. But luckily we had the extra wands, so I was like, oh here, just don't break these because you know what, we don't really have any extras. So, this is one that was actually left for me to have. And the paint is chipping off at some points, but it doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks nice. Like, I, I think it looks nice, too. Because it kind of gives it more of a wood feel. And I like how you can see the wood pattern in the wand. It looks really nice. You can tell it is wood. It's not regular. Like, it's not resin like the Noble Collection wands. It's nice to hold, too. And, yeah, let's get on to the next wand. This was actually someone's wand, but they, they left it here, and um, they contacted me saying, Oh, I forgot the wand at your house. Can you save it for me? So I was like, sure. Um, so I kept it and everything. It has a blue tip. It's a really short wand. Really short and thick and everything. But she liked it. She liked it a lot. She said it was really simple and nice. So now... The ones that, the first ones my dad ever made, and it is my brother's one, well these were the first ones he made, you can tell by the paint chipping on the bottom, this is my brother's wand, but I actually like the paint chipping a little, because the paint itself kind of looks solid and no texture, but then I think that kind of adds a more texturist feel, and it's not even a word, but it kind of gives it more of a feel to it, like, it feels nice in my opinion. And it's just brown with a black tip and a black bottom. I really like this wand. It's really simple. It has, a it has like a natural curve to it. We didn't do anything to it. The wand, like the, the wood itself just had a natural curve. I, ooh, ooh, I, li I like it. And the good thing is, it takes a really, it takes good effort to break these. Like, my friend broke it because like, one of them like slammed it into like a, like a wall by accident. They were like walk, they were running in the game. And they slammed it to a wall, so that would take, that was a lot of effort. And then my friend was like, it was as a joke, they were like, oh, imagine it broke if I had to put it like this. And it, he like, he took his knee and went, boom, and it broke in half. So, it was a funny joke, so I, I was just, I was laughing with it. And then I was like, here, don't break this wand, though. So, it's a nice wand, it's a lot shorter than mine. And here's mine, the only black wand that we have left. It's really nice, I like it, and it has like a... I had a really pointy tip until I like, until I was like, oh, I can't have this pointy tip, so I was like, trying to take it out. It has silver 
bands here, right here, and one here. I don't know if you can tell, but when I when my dad like took it out and carved it and everything, there were actually bumps in the wand where the handle was gonna go. And I really like that. But then like the paint kinda like covered it up and I was like, eh, it's still a nice wand. I still really like it, and that was the one thing that was cool. But then like I was like, it's still a cool wand. It has a curve to it like the other wand. Kinda reminds me of Bellatrix's, but the curve in Bellatrix is just like massive. It's a longer wand. It has the same curve like the other wand. It's really nice. I like it. I use it now. Uh, I use it a lot. Now let's describe the game that we played. Basically, it depends on the amount of people you have. You can do it. It has to be up to th um, the minimum amount of people is three players. Three to as many as you want, but you don't want to get overcrowded. So it's like three to whatever you want. Um, yeah, but I don't recommend like a full, full like... I don't recommend over 20 to 30 people. You can, but I don't I don't recommend it. And you can do two people too, but it's not fun, really. I played with two people and it's not fun at all. But yeah, depending on the amount of people you have, you can <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I am not feeling my best today. Ugh. I think I have a cold, but Depending on the amount of people you have, you can have one to two seekers, or I call them snatchers sometimes. And basically, um, if there's one person, they count to 60. If there's two people seeking you, they count to 120. I know it's a long time, but the odds are more in the seekers' favor if they count to 60. If there's two people. May the odds be ever in your favor. But, yeah. Um, so, if the people that I invited were non-Harry Potter fans... Like, some of them, like, were okay with Harry Potter, but they didn't really, like, read, like, they don't read or watch Harry Potter, but they're not like, oh, Harry Potter is awful, Harry Potter sucks and everything, but they're, they're accepted to it. They know that I really like it, and they, so they accept it, because they're my friends and everything, and they're, like, the best people in the world, but, so they're like, okay, so I would give them a spell or two to use, like, I would give them Protego, and usually, like, Stupefy or Expelliarmus, and basically, this, this, what they want to do is hide from the Snatchers, and they want to, when the Snatchers come to find them, they want to use a spell on them, so that they're safe from the round. They're safe for the round, and that, the um, they basically can just chill until the Snatchers find everyone else. But, if the Snatchers, like, spell you first, like, cast a spell on you first, then you lose the round and everything. There's really no point countering point counter and everything, just a fun, continuous game, um, and if, um, if there's one person see snatching, they can confund as two people to use them on the, on, like, to work with them, if there's two people, one, they can get one person each to work with them, and so, yeah, you just continuously do that, and it's really fun, actually. My friend, who's a non-Harry Potter fan, says that I made Harry Potter fun. And I think that it's, like, the best compliment in the world. I made a non-Harry Potter fan think Harry Potter is fun. And I'm actually having another par party. Um, it's more of a very part musical party, but it's still a party. It's going to be in late October. And it's going to be a Harry Potter slash very part musical slash Halloween party. And it's going to be really fun. And I can't wait. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.